Hello everyone and warm welcome to this session. In this video, I am going to demonstrate you bit plane slicing of grayscale image. So for the MATLAB coding, we start with the editor window where I writing the MATLAB syntaxes of close all, then clear and CLC to start with the fresh execution of our program. I am mentioning a first line to be commented the motive behind writing this particular program. So this is a program to demonstrate the beat plane slicing of an image. So here we are going to have consideration of the grayscale image. Mostly we have the 8 bit environment and as we have 2 to the power 8 total 256 shades are possible for the 8 bit environment of the image here. So the most popular image data sets as like the cameraman.tif or lena.jpg we are working with. So for that I will be showing you the 8 bits sliced from the image here. So for that purpose I need to first of all read the input image from the current directory or current folder you can say. So this is the first module the read the input image where I will be having a generation of the variable A that will hold that input image information and that is possible with the help of I am read command followed by a pair of parentheses where inside a pair of single quotes we need to specify the name of the image file along with its file type. So I am have mentioned here cameraman.tif this file we are going to access here and store it into the variable capital A that you can see in the workspace while we run this particular program. Now for the bit plane slicing of this particular image, we are going to make the use of two dimensions of the input image. Let us generate the two variables small m and n that we can assign the dimension values with the MATLAB syntax size when the input argument is the variable holding the image information that it is capital A here. Now as for the 8 bit environment you can count from 0, 1, 2 up to 7. So the 7 will be the most significant bit whereas 0 will be the least significant bit here. So we will go for 0, 1st, 2nd, 3rd and so on up to the 7th bit sliced from the image that we have just now read here. So let us save this particular script with the name I am providing program underscore let us say this is 13 dot m will be the file extension. So I have saved it to the current folder. So you can see this is the script file here. The name has appeared to the editor tab. Now as you can check the workspace is initially empty. Now we run this particular program and you see there it is generation of variable A. So for the cameraman.tif that information is stored here. It has the dimensions 256 by 256 and a single band. It is a grayscale image of the data type u int 8 here. And these two dimensions are assigned to the variable small m and small n with this particular syntax. Now we have successfully read the image information and stored it into the variables as shown in the workspace here. Now we will extract the bit planes from this image here. Let us go for the first bit. We start with the least significant bit that it is the 0th bit plane. So for the 0th bit plane, what we are going to do, we are going to make the use of nested for loop here, where the first for loop I run for the variable i that will have the values while iterations from 1 to the small m the first dimension of the input image inside which I am going to nest another for loop that will run for the variable j starting with the value 1 up to the second dimension of the image and now I am going to have generation of the bit plane as this is the 0th bit plane I just name it b0 of small i comma j are the variables that will have the complete dimension of the input image and this I am going to extract with the bit and operation. 
so btet operation we are operating on to the input image that we have stored into the variable a so i write a of i comma j and this operation will be with the value 1 as we will be having the 0th bit means 2 to the power 0 will result into the value 1 here i end this syntax with the help of semicolon and will like to end both the for loops here so this way we are successful to extract the 0th bit plane of the original image here so i will just copy this code and we will make relevant changes so that we can have extraction of the further bit planes here so 0th bit plane is the least significant we will go for the first bit plane where we have i and j variables same running for the complete dimensions for the input image now we will have generation of the first bit plane and we'll name it one here now for the first bit 2 to the power 1 it will be equal to 2 only so this is what the change into the formulation while extracting the bit plane next we will go for the second bit plane where i name the resultant bit plane b2 of i comma j and 2 to the power 2 it will be equal to 4 value we have to use while performing the operation of bit and here so side by side i am saving the changes that i am going to make in this script here next to that we will be having the third bit plane here so i name the resultant variable as b3 of i comma j and 2 to the power 3 the value will be equal to 8 next to that we will go for extracting the fourth bit fourth bit plane here so i name it b4 of i comma j 2 to the power 4 we will be obtaining 16 here next to that we will be extracting the fifth bit plane i write the bit plane b5 of i comma j 2 to the power 5 we have the value 32 next to that we will go for the extraction of sixth bit plane the resultant bit plane i save it with the variable b6 here 2 to the power 6 will result into the value 64 that is why the bit and operation with the input image should be there with the number 64 here and lastly we are going to extract the most significant bit plane that it will be seventh bit plane it will be stored into the variable b7 the bit and operation of the original image will be there with 2 to the power 7 we get 128 here so this way right from the 0th bit plane up to the 7th bit plane we have extracted the 8 bit planes from the original image that we have read in the matlab environment here now let us have visualization of it along with the input image so i will have the last model of this particular program that it is to display the input and output images here so for this purpose i am going to make the use of subplot command where i am going to have generation of two rows and five columns the first cell i am going to access where i am going to make the display with the help of i am show command First of all, the original image is to be displayed. That is why the input argument is capital A. And the concerned title I provide to this particular subplot section that it is within a pair of single quotes. We need to mention the string. This is original image here. By the next line, I will go for the next cell of this subplot. So I provide subplot 2 comma 5 comma 2 here and here i am going to make a display of the least significant bit plane of the input image that we have stored with the variable name b0 here and the specific title here we are going to provide that 0th bit plane 
image. Now we can copy this so that we can make the relevant changes and will display the next beat planes here. So this will be third. Then uh, yes, after B0, we need to go for B1. So it will be the first bit plane here. Then we will go for second bit plane. The variable name is B2. Afterwards, we need to go for Yes, of course, this will be the fourth cell. This will be fifth cell. This will be B3 variable. This will be the third bit plane. Next to that, we will be having the subplot cell 6, the variable name B4. So this is the fourth bit plane. Then we go for the display at seventh cell of this subplot with the variable name b5 to display the fifth bit plane. Next we go for the eighth cell where we are going to have I am show of b6 that is going to have visualization of the sixth bit plane. Then we go for next cell of this subplot that it is ninth one. So we are having the B7 and the most significant bit plane of the original image that it is seventh bit plane here. So out of the 10 cells by two rows and five columns, we have the visualization into the nine cells here. So I just save the changes made to the script and let us check whether the program is error free or not. So I will run this particular program. So after running this program, you come to the workspace. This was the original variable capital A to hold the original information of the image read into the MATLAB environment, the dimension as I earlier discussed. So now here we have extracted B0, B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, B6 and B7, the 8 bit planes slice from the original image here. And these are the other variables we have used in for looping. So these bit planes are displayed by the use of this subplot. So here you see the original image of the cameraman.tif. This is what the 0th bit plane we have obtained by bit and operation of the original image with 2 to the power 0 that is equal to 1. By having the next bit and operation for the first bit plane, here we have the visualization, second bit plane, third bit plane, fourth one, fifth one, sixth one and seventh one. So in the visualization, you can come to see that there is a lot darkness into the last four bit planes here from 0 to 3 whereas the visualization goes on improving as we go for 4th, 5th, 6th and 7th. That is why I have called it to be the 7th bit plane, the most significant bit plane whereas 0th one is the least significant bit plane image slice from the original image. So this visualization you see for the cameraman.tif instead of cameraman.tif if I change the original image here let us say this is lena.jpg I change the name that is why I make the saving of the changes made to the program and run it again. The variables into the workspace will be same because the lena.jpg and cameraman.tif have the same dimensions the names will be same dimensions will be same so this is what the original image lena.jpg 0th plane first plane second third fourth fifth sixth and seventh so here you see the eight bit plane images sliced from the original image into the matlab environment so this was the simple demonstration of bit plane slicing of grayscale image thank you